A 41-year veteran of the Houston Police Department is dead after he was shot twice while responding to a domestic violence situation. Two other people were also injured in the shooting, and a suspected shooter has been arrested. From the hospital, Houston Police Chief Art Osvaldo talked about Sergeant Harold Preston. I would just say this about Sergeant Preston. This man's been around for 41 years, and people throw out the word hero all the time. And I'm not calling him a hero because he, the way he died today, but he is a hero. He's a guy that's in his 60s, 41 years, and he's leading from where we want our sergeants to lead, yeah. from the front. He's leading with his men and women on the streets instead of choosing to sit in an office drinking, drinking coffee and reading the paper. That's the man he was. And he's a man that lived with his elderly parents, who I've told you I've met before, and takes care of his elderly parents. As good as he was as a cop, he was a better human being. That's just the guy that he was, and we're going to miss him. But we're very blessed that this family is a family of faith. And the strength from his mother right now up there, I think, has given us, we're all drawing strength from that mother. Because our cops have to understand if a mother can bury a son, this department will bury a colleague, will bury a hero. Osvaldo says Sergeant Preston and Officer Courtney Waller were responding to a domestic violence situation. That was around 8 this morning, and they were met by a woman who said she was moving out and wanted to get some things from the apartment. While speaking, Osvaldo says the suspect's 14-year-old son saw his father had a gun and told officers about it. That's when 51-year-old Elmer Manzano is accused of starting shooting. Sergeant Preston was shot twice, and Officer Waller was shot once in the arm. Waller is expected to survive. Manzano was shot once in the stomach, went to the hospital, and is listed as stable. Katie Johnston for CBS 11 News.